Mike Tyson, Van Dyke. Grew up in there, Zab Judah too. This is where the Wolves started. This is my first meeting. <laughs> Uber won't stop him. <laughs> Uber drop pass and they drop you at the corner. They drop you on the side of the building. Daddy over Debbie. All of us like that. We all take care of our kids. If you had a disagreement with someone, you didn't shoot, you didn't go grab a gun, you didn't kill anyone. What's going on guys? It's a beautiful day out here in Brooklyn. I'm with Max Really Real. He's gonna show us his hood. Her vlogs you hear, man. Welcome to Brownsville. It's one of the most dangerous places in New York. I would say the world, but New York is definitely a fact. It's the jungle. Respectfully, you heard? I seen your other ones you did. Like, they need to know, like, in New York, this probably the worst. I ain't even gonna say the worst, because it's beautiful to us. This probably the most treacherous area in New York. This block got so many legendary stories, like, everywhere. Like, where you stepping at right now, something done happened right there. But I ain't gonna front, like, you see this shit, this shit different now, but like, we trying to even change it more to make it where we got something for the youth, because when we came out, we ain't have shit, bro. We all we seen was, what we seen, like, it, it was like these four block radius, with a, guns and butter, for oh, real. So. Out, you ain't see me working out this morning, I said, I said, birds chirping and gun smoke. You see T-Banger, that's legendary, that's, 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 that's all our mother. She got like, probably like, a hundred kids. She got kids, she don't even know they hers. When we get rich, she get rich. She won't even be sitting right there no more, unless she wants to. You in Van Dyke Projects right now. I'll show you around this shit, because this is just one block. Let's go we to can the go to the aisle. Let's go to the aisle. What you want me to say? Nah, talk your shit. These my homies, my little Sorry. bros, y'all already know. Yeah. That's right, we brown villains. You ain't know that? We brown villains. You don't know, you better ask somebody. If I got somebody. problems with any girl, she gonna come check you. That park right there? That shit legendary. This the new park right here. When we was growing up as kids, these projects wasn't aligned together. Like, no. I'm talking about, you hear me? Look, every project is across the street, like literally. And there's niggas that'll be beefing in this shit and beefing with them niggas right there and they beefing with them niggas. Like, so like, we was the first niggas as kids to form a group and bring a hundred people through. I'm talking about, we done brought people. Yo, Stoney, yo. What, what we did to this ass, bro? Everything, Stoney nigga. Getting, like, the dub right there. No funny shit, bro. As a kid, this shit means so much to me. We could even come in here. Look, 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 look how you get right here. Great Wall, that's one of the best Chinese food restaurants in the hood for fried chicken and shit. Yeah. This is another store, like, I might buy this shit next, me and gang, because this shit. It been like 50 different owners since we was little. Yeah, that's, 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 it's called Brooklyn. Even gang Chicken and lobster now. Want to say something about Brownsville? <laughs> See, that's how real it is. That's how real it is, though. This is a legendary liquor store right here. You see, like, all this shit, legendary. Even the laundry mat. I'm talking about, when I say legendary, bro, good and bad happen right here. You see the police, they don't move. You niggas stay right here, they know what's up. This is my brother right here. What's going on? What's going on, nigga? That's so friendly right here. What you talking about? No, that's sick. Rats on us. That's a fact. Yo, look. Get please in. That's please in your deal, right? Brownsville's mixy, you know how it is, but you know, we all in the hood together to stick together. We moving and grooving, baby. Stay up, my nigga. Salute. That's Frankie, one of my first barbers, like, his family been in Brownsville for the longest. This barbershop right here is real legendary. If you ever in Brownsville, you come here and get a haircut, man. Frankie gonna take care of you. It's a lot of dope barbers in here, man. Good. Let me finish, come here, man. Let me show you, show you more of the hood. See, this the bro right here, another artist. He fresh home, you know? It's my brother right here, Smayo. Fresh home, too. Another artist. What's up, gang? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I see his niggas in the hood right now on this. On the little, on the little bikes. Getting more money than niggas in formers right now. That's how niggas maneuver through the queens, you huh? I showed you Van Dyke. We walked through the Ave on Mother Gaslin. This right here is Belmont. When we was coming up, little girls, babies, and 
mothers, they wasn't getting shot. The person who it was, you feel me? Meant for it was meant for. Exactly. Nowadays, niggas is going in crowds and just shooting sure, random people. Random people that shit. Yeah, that shit don't matter. And we don't shit. indulge in we the violence. We don't indulge in violence, but at the end of the day, if you have your proper, you have a beef with somebody, go that get the person you have a problem with. That's don't be right. shooting innocent kids, yeah. they moms, what? and people just walking down the street, going to the store to get milk and groceries. That don't make no sense. Let's all get money. Exactly. That's it. Get Change money. Change the object. Instead of and killing each other, take care of your family together. and your responsibilities. Look. Instead of killing each other, let's build together. Yo, no you know what I mean? Shit, There's yo, a lot of things that need to be corrected out here. Just for instance, how they taking our community centers away from our children. Just so they could do their own public nonsense. You know what I mean? The chi our community centers was our safe havens for our children. Now that we don't have that no more. You see that store closed right here? Oh, oh look, look, that's the hood. That's the hood, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm it's telling you, this is what happens. What's what happened? Ran out of her damn slippers. Ran down on her, she left her mom. That's crazy. Oh, shit. She's a runner, she's a track star. I told you when you come out, you're going to see any, anything is liable to happen. Whoa. Hey. Now, nah, but that green store legendary right here. Y'all Google what legendary means because I keep saying that shit. I, certain shit I can't say. This PS150 right here. I didn't go to this one. I went to um, 184 and I went to 275. Bro went to the one of the 323, 323 Marcus in Brownsville. Everybody was saying they school was lit, but I ain't gonna lie, Marcus had it. Like, Yo, 150 had some. The two, only ones, though, in 298. Javon went there, too. Yeah, my Jay buzzer, Vaughan, nigga. Javon Pinks, Pinks then. He went to um, Villanova. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out to the bro. He put on in Villanova, you know? Well, I ain't gonna lie, my bro buzzer, ain't nigga. get drafted. Gangster. That shit hurt it, though. But whole it was cool. Home. He, was, he, he played nah, for Brooklyn for a little bit. Shout out to Lee Lee, too. LaVance Fields. He went to Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's the legend, man. That's the Brownsville legend. legend, dog. He went to Pittsburgh. It's a Brownsville legend. Name. Google him. LaVance Fields, nigga. It's a fucking legend, nigga. Never ran, never will. You know that? You I'm gonna take you through. Because this, this shit, I, like I told you, even you see that? This was our track. When we ain't have a crib to go to, we was coming right here all night. Ten years old, laying on this shit. Come, thinking of come ups. Who you know, 10, 11, 12, thinking about come ups. I remember my mom's walking from the crib, walking through this shit, because she knew we used to be. Remember, I showed you the first block, right? The first block is connected. Once you cross the street, it's right there. She used to walk through here all the way through these peas from Cephalo to, to another project. I'm going to show you. Just to look for me, 3 o'clock in the morning. If it wasn't for us, hood to the fan. None of these niggas, even the older niggas, wouldn't even be fucking with each other. Like how they fuck with each other now. That's why we all together. It's about five different projects that's together. We all one side. You feel me? We got Glenmore. We got Suffalo Van Dyke. We got Brownsville LH. We Gucci. Niggas can't fuck with us, bro. We all, we tied in. Let me tell you something. These two niggas, and they here with me right now. They ain't like me growing up. I ain't, I ain't uh, like him. Boom, 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 boom. Look, I ain't like him. I don't yeah. know why. I ain't have no reason not to like him. He used to say what up to my but friend. But I, I used, to tell, used to love him. I used to tell my friend, why you say what up to that nigga? <laughs> you used to have your hair up and all that. Yo, hold on, now we got to clarify this. And then him, I felt like he was stealing all my friends. He, they had, he, had, uh, he, had, he had all the extra game system. He had every game yeah, system. I, grew, I was the I only one games out of all of us that grew up in like one of the houses. A little houses bit more privileged. Shit. Oh, he wants to say that. A little bit more we privileged. Now, you know, niggas, some people just come in the money. <laughs> Nah, I was the only one that lived, I didn't live in the projects, like, but I lived in the projects. You get what I'm saying? Like, I was here every day. I got to show you Suffalo, show you Glenmore, man. This an uh, OG right here to me, like my big brother. Hey, I was some wild youngins at the end of the day, <laughs> but you had some OGs with a brain, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like you. a lot of niggas that ain't had no I brain out up. here, you know what I'm saying? I remember one time, me and my niggas was wilding. And I, my older brothers came, pulled up on nah, us and said, y'all niggas man. need to chill out. It's our turn. Because y'all got them older niggas coming and they pussy. So it's our turn. I appreciate you. Oh, we oh, you doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Trying, man. Oh, let's get it. Keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody yeah. perfect. <laughs> I appreciate that coming from you. You know, bro. You know how long you been doing this? My big bros introduced me to music. Bootcamp Click, Sean Price, R.I.P. Everybody should know who that is, but 
If you don't, Google Sean Price, man. Mayo played the part where he brought the, the structure when we was kids, because we was young. We was young, like, we was just no, running around. With the older niggas, so I, I had a little structure, you all. Oh, you know, shout you out know. to my bro, bro. It's too many names to name. There's right. a lot of names out here. Oh, I wish, I wish gang was outside, but feel me? Everybody, you know, doing what they gotta do. Y'all gotta see my face for this shit. Like, every, every place I'm bringing you to, I got memories here. You heard? Like, I remember being just like this. This age, like, we just shooting, hoping we would go to the NBA. And that shit. I lost hoop dreams because I was trash. I was the nigga with the headband, with the sleeve. This one of the most dangerous places in Brownsville. This is a place where Uber don't come. Uber won't stop here. Uber drive past and they drop you at the corner. They drop you on the side of the building. Another bro that's fresh home. Niggas went up in their time. He just came home my solid. My everything that I, I just told you what I just, what I just said, bro. You ain't say what yeah, you was putting down. I just said my signature and my social, bro. Yeah. What more do I need? We done took the good with the bad at every place I'm showing you. So, like, it's certain shit that I don't even want to, if you know, you know. But, like, this shit, wins, losses, fucking good, bad, blood, sweat, tears. If you wasn't from these projects, you couldn't come in here. Unless you was us. That's why I said we the ones that like made it possible to, to link up and team up. Because every project was divided. You had certain niggas that was cool with certain niggas. But like, niggas wasn't cut. Yo, I swear to God, I could put this on my life. I never seen, I'm talking about as a kid. I never seen Nobody that didn't like Suffalo come to Suffalo. And it was the, the, the shit with no cameras. Do that make sense? Nobody comes and it got no cameras. This right here is the yard. You got niggas fresh home and niggas that been in there that when they come, they, they mindset is let me, let me get money. You see that, bro, take off the rollies. This nigga tell me all the time, her vlogs like, yo, get on your shit, start working shit. out. We don't wear regular tees, polo tees. And this how we do it in the hood, a regular day, I swear to God. We was all getting fly just to come here. Me. Come here, go to, just to walk through the hood, her vlogs. As a kid, you would just want to put on your best shit. Niggas was catching <laughs> mad robberies. As, a, as kids, like, petty shit. And this is shit that niggas, man, niggas did they time for that, and that's petty shit. Man, what you gonna come back, what? Fuck it. That shit was... Years ago, 15 years ago. That was the mindset in Brownsville, like, you had to be aggressive. You had to take. Nobody wasn't giving us nothing, no opportunities. It's like a four block radius damn near for every project. Right now, we walking through Cephalo. I'm gonna take you out of um, Glenmore. We call that PC, picking in Christopher, you heard? So when I say PC, don't think protective custody, we don't do that. But all my bros, they go up, they, they take care of business. They hold it down. Stay solid. Uh, so this the gang too. Like he could tell you about how we grew up. How we grew up. This this hug vlogs. Trust me, doing man. some shit about Brown. Niggas know how we grew up already. Yeah. We happy to still be here though, man. That's about it. Ain't nothing else to talk about. The center open? Yes. Seth Flow Center, you heard? I went to summer camp here all my life. Like for real trips. I think me and my, we're L at. Man, this nigga had a fight right here. He think I don't, I ain't forget L. Plug up. Yeah. Yo, plug up. He think I forgot. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm telling him when you, yeah, when you try, you fought me, yeah, you snuffed me right here. He got a bunch of the pool games and all that shit, like a regular community since his butt. They used to take us everywhere, especially as far as basketball. We all play basketball, and they took us to every basketball yeah. tournament around New York City. And we needed that. Every morning, we up 7 o'clock. Going to Queens, we going to the Bronx, we going everywhere, we going to play ball everywhere. Bushwick, wherever you wherever you can name, you dig, we there. But yeah, we needed this. This is something that we need community sense. Anywhere other projects too, but we talk about here. This, yeah. Here, this and a lot of shit happened right here, but this shit we needed. The Cephalo community sense, it was definitely needed. Before we go on the Cephalo Center, you see this? This is Scully Court. A New York game right here. You take a um, you take a, a milk top, 
you put wax in it, right? You're trying to pluck to get in two. So you got to get all the way to 13. You get in here, hook logs, you in a gulag, like clubhouse. Your ass in a gulag, yeah. That's how that shit go. You pot, you get five boxes, maybe seven boxes. Bringing you a set flow center. As a kid, this is where we used to play. It. How you doing, man? What's good? Damn, my phone just died. My partner was calling me. Shout out NY, man. But um, right here, this shit was like the go-to. This and Van Dyke Center was our go-to to play ball. This how we was, though. So we had hoop dreams, like. I swear to God, like, even seeing this shit, this should be bringing back so many memories. Baby showers were shot in here. Baby showers was in here. Um, basketball tournaments. They got the computer room. This is where the wolves started. This is my first meeting. If you ain't come to Mike Mills meeting, you see niggas throwing this shit up. If you ain't come to my meeting. I watched all your shits, bro, when you was in Cali, all that shit. You heard I watched all your hood vlogs. I fuck with this shit. Hold on. You see my boy just pulled up. Like, and look how you pulling Young Savage, out. Champagne Savage, man. We got the best rappers. Like, the literally lyrical, versatile. How about you want to go with it? Tell them. How about, tell them. However. Max Lee Real, Mike Millie, Stelly, Molly, JD, on B JD, I know who that is. Cool to be. Bleezy DOD. Wendy well, females, Pacer. we got down. Hold on, call me on. What? Uh -huh. we, let's, let's go a long time, bro. Cut to the camera. Sosa Geek. He got a song with Drake. He's from Brownsville. He's from right here. From that yeah, building right here. Yeah, you better know. This the community right here. Either somebody knows somebody somehow. You get what I'm saying? So, like. You got people that went to school together. I went to school with most of these people, hung out with most of these people, but some of these people was here before me. You feel me? And you know, this the hood, like, this, man, this is where it all started, man, like, respectfully. Even that word, Trenches. like, nah, niggas on. here respectfully. Hold this, put that on a track. Shout out to Jay Z. He man. made it lit. I ain't gonna say he started it. Well, no, other man's made it. But he like, made it lit. He got it right. Like, everybody saying it. We made it fun to say it. Like, and I got I got videos and all that shit from where we been with saying that shit a couple you just years came from ago. You asked the game. He had Clubhouse. If y'all don't know about Clubhouse, it's a little app, talking, community, social app type shit. He made it lit. Like, he. I don't know how. <laughs> Yo, bro, he had Tulsi, 21 Savage. Shout out to them. Oh, uh, the game. Them, That's the game, too. Oh, uh, Lil Mama. A couple people was running to his room, trying to steal our room. We made it up. Like, we made it a fun. We made it a good thing. Like, Shout out to Keisha Cole. Shout out to Keisha Cole. Cole. Yes, everybody. I met all of them through Clubhouse. Shout out to all of them. I fuck with all of them. I got nothing but love for all of them. I got they cons. <laughs> oh, yeah, shout no, out Cakey. Cakey, my had sister. Stars on shout there, out to Cakey. Um, but yeah, like even he brought up 21 Savage. I even told bro, like when he come out here, he gotta, we gonna, we gonna show him around. Show him like with it, cause he, he, he keeps saying ain't no good spots in New York to eat at. We got some of the best spots. <laughs> yeah, 20, 21, you gotta tap in, you bugging. Now nah, you my dog, I'm fucking with you, my boy. <laughs> this is a legendary building too. Definitely is. A block. Definitely. But A block right across from Glenmore. This, that's another part of us, the family oh, tree. God, Shout out Hung Lee. They got some of the best chicken. Remember where I told you eight block? Danny right Jacobs, the professional boxer, is from right there. Mike Tyson, Van Dyke, grew up in there. Zab Judah too. Fucking Big Rock, Health the Skelter, Sean Price is from the building that I said, the, one of the most dangerous buildings in Brownsville. So like, we, we got great people that came out of this shit. We just trying to follow up. Shout out MOP. I'm niggas from the other side. I don't, <laughs> Saratoga, some shit. Shout out to MOP. They from Brownsville. They up the hill. Shout out to them though. Yeah, Brownsville is crazy. This shit is like a, a state, and then all the projects is like. We all our homies, but like KG, I speak to my bro every day. Cat right here, like this, this, this is him. This us, but this is my bro right here. Like he loved his projects. He grew up right here. Cat gonna hate me for this, but I remember that's my bro. I knew Cat so long, like this my brother. I remember screaming KK name. Remember Millie? We screamed cat name. He was on. T he was on punishment. Dead ass. Niggas like yo, okay, hey. <laughs> right here, right here. Her vlogs, we all like this, a hundred deep. Yo, KK. Okay, hey. He like yo, I can't come out. <laughs> I'm telling this how long, bro. This like this my brother.
Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, we done been through everything, and, and this is his building right here. Right now, Hood Vlogs, I'm in the hood with you because I want to be in the hood. Millie in the hood, these niggas, we don't have to be here no more. But when you got to live and survive out here, this shit ain't pretty. Brownsville is like some place that you want to make it out the most. Like, this shit, this shit is rough, bro. This shit locked right now. Before, you could just ha Oh, you hot like this. Boom. Well, this was the only building you hit. Bing! Shit over. This right here is, is Glenmore Project. We call it Pickett and Christopher. And one thing we don't play about is our kids, bro. We fatherhood the best hood. That's one thing we don't play about. We don't play about it. I ain't gonna lie, like, if you snitch, these are street snitch, you a deadbeat, rapist. Oh, you don't take care of your dick. You kids, nigga, you out of here. You can't even be next to us. You can't have fun with us. Like, we done told our own friends, get your shit together. You fucking bugging. That shit tatties. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, Look at my that. daughter walking. Mm -hmm. Daddy's over deadbeats. Mm -hmm. Respectfully. That's oh, real where, shit. Where, 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 that's that too. Where, 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 you see that? D.O.D. That's, that's that daddy's over deadbeat. Definition of dreams. All of us like that. We all take care of our kids, nigga. Oh, all of us. That's, 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 how, we, that's how we live. Oh, you know what the fuck going on? Big frenzy in the spot. All in all, like Brownsville, man, this shit is like a family, man. Like, we take our wins together, we take our losses together. We so big that the losses look big. I probably lost more than 30 people that then been to my, my mom's crib. Probably then ate her food. Like, all together in my lifetime, like, you get what I'm saying? And all Peter, the bros that ain't here, that's who we doing it for. We still living for them. I told you, A Block, back. Danny Jacobs building right there, man. I ain't never get my taxes done there. I don't know about them. This is where our mother gas is start, all the way down to like Livonia. You know I mean? That's how big Van Dyke is too. That shit go all the way to Livonia. This shit, this is our blocks, right? So we showed you Glenmore, Glenmore, Cephalo, Van Dyke is all within. One, like, with see. with one mother this gas. Right here. Look, look, you see this this yo, pop out. Legendary. That's, hey, that's the that's the man himself right there. Hey, Browns, but this is monumental here. Yeah. This this is here. This is the barbershop. And legendary. This barbershop been here since I've been a little kid. Like respectfully, that was, that was you see the sign. Brownsville. Brownsville, Brooklyn. You see that? White shop. Legendary. I like to tell niggas, you just gotta Google what happens in Brownsville. Look it up. Picking so, Avenue. Mother Gaston, Sutter Avenue, Belmont. Just type a number and see what pop up. 157 Belmont, 365 Sackman, 1800 Pickin, 3335 three, 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 Sutter. Mm -hmm. just, just type it in, see what happens. Google it. Just whatever pop up, just read it. Good or bad. Yeah. We on the app, they play our music. That's why we love Brownsville. They play our music in stores. You can walk in the store and hear niggas' music actually playing. These buildings right here, Langston Hills. This is another OT right here, Mingo. Ming, doing something about Brownsville. Lately, it's been a lot of nonsense, but despite that, it's sexier. when it's not that, Brownsville is it's a lot of love out here, man. It's a lot of togetherness out here. Appreciate right. you. Yeah. We in a chicken spot right now. If you come here, you got to get the motherfucking wings. Yes, Lemon, pepper, sweet chili, buffalo, Barbecue, oh, hot garbage, teriyaki. I ain't gonna lie, like, you gotta get these so, shits fried, so crisp, hot, pulled. Just like, what? I ain't gonna front. It's other shit, the burgers fire here. Yeah. You already came up off the burgers, beef patties. Who you know got mac and cheese on the chicken's mind? <laughs> Look at mac that. and cheese. Overbooked. It ain't mama love mac and cheese, but it's mac and cheese. Amazing. Love it. Come here and get that wings or get one of these. Or. Yo, Brownsville niggas so petty. When we was kids, niggas used to ask for a piece of nigga shit. Nigga, I spit all of them. Whoa, nigga spit on his own food. Wow, nigga. Ah, ah, nigga, be funny. Niggas used to be stuck. There's buffalo wings, lemon pepper, and I got sweet chili under the fries, you heard? Niggas don't even do that. These the wings. That you get fried hard when you come to the chicken spot. Mother gas in the Sutter, you You get any flavor you want. I'm the only one they they let me get three flavors, you know. Respectfully. 
niggas will charge you all extra shit. Yo, you put the sweet chili, right? No, Alright, good looks, my boy. Oh my god, you see that shit? Rick Ross! Nigga, we need to come invest a little bit in our chicken spot. We not the niggas that forget where we come from, so that's why we eat this. I still eat oodles and noodles. But Trust me, don't get it wrong. <laughs> we go out every day Trust or me. every other day. And we go eat good. Shout out to Brooklyn Chop House. Remember, I told you, if it wasn't Cephalo Center, it was Van Dyke Center. Van Dyke Center is right there. Van Dyke Center had a little more, though. I know you remember when I said my crib was like on the outside of Van Dyke, on the opposite side. So you see this block right here? This is the second block coming from Sutter of Van Dyke. So you got Sutter, you got this block, this Blake. After Blake, you got Dumont. Um, you got Livonia after that. After Livonia would be my crib. My shit was on Newport and Riverdale on Sagman. And like, this whole shit, I used to walk every day. Come from my crib. The shit, this this so crazy how you, I want you to understand that I'm taking you to these projects, hood vlogs, but these is projects that we took over and we got so much love from them. We could go on any block in Van Dyke, any block Cephalo, um, any block Brownville, LH, Glenmore. Just to get to Sutter, I will walk and stop on every block before I come meet up with the gang. Cause Van Dyke was so lit. Nigga ain't never shot that B. He'd be at me 45 minutes later. Like, Whoa, what that's he was doing, yo, I nigga stop me talking. Whoa. It's just so crazy. Like I done took, man, I done been through so much here. I didn't even took a war wound here, man. Got shot in my hood. Like both. Both. And that and, and that should just show you like we outside. Like, you get what I'm saying? We wasn't in the crib. Like we outside. And to be outside, you you take the risk, you heard? You take risk. And that's what we was doing every day. You get what I'm saying? This shit is a risk right now, hood vlogs. Like us just even standing there because it's huh? We used to play ball right here. I don't think Millie could dunk no more. Who can't dunk? I could do all that, nigga. Same way you see me go do pull-ups, I could still dunk. I'm one of the, but listen, ain't too many artists gonna play one on one. Not too many artists gonna play one on one with me. We ain't gonna fuck the beef. Everybody ain't gonna play one on one with me in basketball. Artists. Well, guys, we're about to finish the video. Big shout out to everybody out here for showing love. Shout out to you for even coming out here, man. Like, just to sum it up, man, Brownsville, I'm gonna say it again, is very legendary. Like, this shit got 20, we, where we at right now in these projects got 22, um, 22,000 units. Like, you know how crazy that is, you heard? So like, just think about it. We got families of five living in, living in these shits, family of three. So just times that by the people in the unit. Nobody live by themselves in Van Dyke like that. These is families, you feel me? That move into these shits and been here all their life. But like, I think to me, this is probably the biggest hood damn near project-wise with the most project buildings. And, and probably Brooklyn as one hood, one section, Brownsville. This shit's so crazy, like, the most important shit in Brownsville is making it back to your crib at the end of the day. Because when you step outside, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what could happen. Anything, so you gotta prepare yourself. You know how crazy it is, her vlogs? Look, say you live in this building. You know how crazy it is to feel like to make it to the store, you, it's possible that you won't make it back? You catch a body, jail. You, body. you could go to jail. You could be going to you get, get tea. Somebody could see you and that could be your last pack of holes. Whoa, you, you, you get what I'm saying? You could be sick. Oh, your mom's sick. Your mother telling you, hug me. Your mother telling you, baby, go to the store. Go get me something. And you know, like, you get what I'm saying? This shit crazy. So just think about that, hug love. Look how close that store is. It's 30 feet away. No celebrities. A lot of people don't want to come out here because of the stories they hear. And imagine we got to live here and try, we trying to make it out. Growing up out here, things was uh, a lot more easier, a lot more laid back. Um, it was, uh, you know, real peaceful. If you had a disagreement with someone, they, you, uh, you fought. 
you fought it out. You know, you swung. You didn't shoot. You didn't go grab a gun. You didn't kill anyone. Next thing you know, you know, you were best friends. You went and played basketball. And, uh, you know, you were best friends after that.